Hi everyone, this is Eddie with Blastmaster Computer Services. I'm going to show you how I do a health check on my machine. What I have here is my laptop here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to log into a Dell R620 server using iDRAC 7 Enterprise Licensing. What I have here is a folder on my desktop called Home Lab Server Management. In here I have my Dell and my IBM server, so I'm going to select my Dell server folder. I'm going to double click Dell R620 and that's going to pull me up a authentication page where I put in my username and password then click, click submit it's going to give me a default warning that I'm using the default password uh, for one of my other accounts and I'm, on, I'm not worried about that right now I'm going to go ahead and select keep default password and select continue it comes up by default to the server tab Just give it a chance to populate here and on the, uh, on the summary tab you can just check out your server health here I only have one power supply plugged in, this is why I'm getting this red X here. But you can look at your virtual console, which is actually on the console in front of the monitor itself as if you were standing in front of the, the system itself. It gives you the system state, the firmware version, the, the BIOS version. It gives you, as I said here, this is just this power supply one, I'm only using one power supply to power the system from here. I can actually go to hardware, select batteries, it shows them that my system batteries are good. I can look at my, my fans, my fans are running good, it gives me a percentage here and tells you what the speed is. I can select my CPU tab, it tells me what processor I'm, I have in this machine, what the, the stepping number is. It's presence in the number of cores, so it's a single processor, six core count, memory, it tells me here, here's my memory speed, for the DIMMs I am using, this machine here, install capacity is 32 gigs of RAM, here I can uh, also look at my storage, look at my physical disks, And see here, my physical disks are good. Going back here to power, I can see how much consumption the machine is using at this given moment in time. And that right now is 84 watts. So it's using 84 watts, and it gives me a a timeline. well tells you BTU per hour 287 gives you a warning threshold and a failure threshold you can modify these numbers if you like it gives you peaks as well you can look at the logs if we want to go back to the server uh, summary page we can We can look at temperatures and voltages. We can power cycle the machine off if we like. We can look at the system inventory tab. What it's doing right now is collecting inventory. Should give us a screen here shortly. There we go. You can see the lifecycle controller back to our, our memory, our back plane. So Dell's really covered a lot 
using this tool. I, I'm really happy with it where I can just actually go in and, and check out my server to see if it's performing optimum. I can go to iDRAC here settings if I want to actually update or roll back. I can actually do firmware updates from this as well. Where if you, you can use a, a, a local repository if you copy the file locally and choose the file if you like. Or you can go to Dell's FTP site or HTTP site if you like as well. And this tool also gives you the ability to roll back, which I thought was really nice. So if you're having issues with firmware, you can roll back. Well, that's it for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.